What's happening out there gamers? Tonight, I'm back with a second video. This is a solo money glitch using the SP to MP glitch. It is the apartment transfer and how to make modded outfits all completely solo. You can make a million and a half dollars each time you do this and transfer outfits. Everything is from your second character. In this case, it's our female character or my female character. And I will be going over the SP to MP glitch much, much more thoroughly and a lot slower. Watch this entire video if you guys are having trouble. I saw about 20 questions in the last video that are in the last comments of the last video that were all answered in the video, guys. You must watch and listen, okay? But first off, we're gonna start with the apartments glitch and modded outfits. So go to your female character and put on the outfit components that you want. I'll have links in the description to different components. Now, for the money glitch, these are the apartments you want on your second character which are the three most expensive penthouse suite apartments, okay? You want them in slots four, five, and six, as you saw right there, only slots four, five, and six. Okay, so you saw I have the ex expensive ones purchased there. You only have to do this one time, guys. Once you've uh, bought the apartments on each character, you can just keep doing the glitch over and over again, okay? So the only time you have to pay up front is the very first time after that. You can just keep doing this over and over again and making a million and a half dollars every time. So. Once you have successfully bought all the expensive apartments, or the three most expensive apartments on the female character in slots four, five, and six, you wanna to go to swap character, as you can see right here, and I'm going back to my main character, okay? My first character. This is the guy that we want all the money going to, all the cool modded outfits, okay? So once you've selected your main character, you're gonna load back in, and I'll skip forward to that. So once we're loaded in just like this you're going to go over to your internet and on your main character you want to buy the three cheapest properties in slots four five and six so as you can see right here i actually wasn't even set up yet because i hadn't done this glitch in a while i had other apartments here or other properties so slots four five and six you want the cheap ones unit 124 right there it is a cheap one so i kept that one strawberry avenue is a cheap one so i'm going to buy it in slot five uh, don't worry about your cars, guys. This is a two-car garage, but your cars do get saved. I'm buying another cheap apartment in slot six. There we go. I have the three cheapest apartments now on my uh, main character who we want all the money and modded outfits to transfer over to. What's going to happen when we do this glitch is the female components, you know, her outfits and her apartments from slots four, five, and six, the, the prices are going to transfer over to the main character and all we have to do then is just buy cheap apartments over those and we get the rebate which is 50 percent so you make about a million and a half dollars every time you do this okay so once you've successfully set up everything you're ready to do the glitch now for those of you that were having trouble with the sp to mp glitch here it is this is the best way i can describe it i'm going super slow the last time i went 50 percent um, you know slow motion this is 25% slow motion okay so it's even slower uh, this time around so just like the other time you want to switch over to Michael I've had success 100% of the time with Michael since I've been doing this glitch tonight once you're Michael you want to go outside get your machine gun out get your pistol out whatever start firing some rounds once you fired rounds, you want to just get one star, all right? If you've gotten two stars or any more than that, or two or two or more stars, it's too much. The cops are going to come up to you, and they're just going to shoot you on sight, and you're going to die. You don't want that, all right? You want, to, you want them to come up to you and try to arrest you. So like you see, I got one star right there. I'm just going to stand here in the middle of the street, and I'm just going to wait for the cops to show up. Put your gun away so you're not a threat, and that's how they're going to arrest you. All right, so pay attention, guys, because this is the slowest and most thorough explanation of this glitch you're probably going to see online at all tonight, okay? Like from anybody, any YouTuber, okay? And I'm sure you'll be able to hit it because I'm going to go over every single little step, okay? So once they're coming close to me, here's the slow motion right here, guys, even slower than before. So his hands are going to go up right there, boom. Now, once he's got his hands up and you've pressed pause, this is the time to go ahead and go online or go to the online tab and then we're going to hit play gta online and go into an invite only session all right so here we go man super super slow motion here for you guys i want everybody to be able to hit this glitch it's not difficult once you get your timing down it's just people's timings are a little bit off right now okay and that's all right that's why i'm here to help y'all out okay so right now i'm gonna head to invite only and once we get the alert that says are you sure you want to leave this session right there accept it now we're getting shot up into the clouds okay once we've been shot up into the clouds all the way up 
that is when you want to go ahead and proceed with the steps. So here we go. We're all the way up in the clouds. Now go offline and immediately go back to GTA and wait for the alert. Okay. So right there, I went, I went to my settings, I went offline, and then I hit, you know, I spam B to go back to GTA, and now I'm just sitting there waiting, and I'm waiting. And this is all going super fast in real time, all right? This, the whole glitch is about 45 seconds. I'm slowing it down to like two minutes for you guys, okay? So here we go. I'm waiting. I've already gone offline, and I'm back to GTA. I'm waiting for this alert. I'm waiting for this alert. Boom, I got the alert. Now that I'm at the alert, just like it says right there on the screen, okay, once you're at the alert, you want to reconnect, all right, but not yet. Once you accept that alert, you need to wait two seconds. So I'm going to accept this alert any second now. I'm going to wait two seconds while it says quitting, se quitting session on the bottom. And then right when uh, that two seconds is up, I'm going to count one, two. I'm going to go back and reconnect my internet. So I'm going to go back online and then wait five to ten seconds to go back to the game. Okay. Now, once I've come back to the game, it should say quitting session just like this. Okay. Once you see quitting session, you want to wait. All right. You need to wait right now for that quitting session to go away. All right. It has to go just invisible, all right? It's just literally gonna go away, it's gonna disappear. So we're waiting right now for that quitting session to disappear, just waiting and waiting, and there you go, it disappeared. So now you wanna go back, go offline, and come back right away. When you go offline and come back right away, you're gonna get this black screen right here. Boom, black screen. Now go straight back to online and wait. So go online and wait 20 to 25 seconds in your settings, guys. This is where most of you are going wrong. You need to wait 20 to 25 seconds right now. So you need to wait. Then once you've waited enough, boom, you go back to on, you go back to GTA and you get that orange circle. That orange circle is the indicator that everything has worked out, okay? That is how you hit this glitch. Once you've gotten that orange circle, you should see the GTA online loading icon. There you go. That's how we hit the glitch, guys. I can't explain it any slower or th more thorough than that. That is pretty much it. Okay, so now once we've gone there, if you want to buy everything in the game, this is where you would go to the next vid uh, my previous video and watch that. For this video, we've spawned in as our uh, story mode character. And here we go. We're going to do the apartments glitch right now. So. We're gonna go ahead and go eat the peyote at this location at Southern Los Santos Customs. Now, once I've gotten there, here we go. I'm gonna press right D-pad and eat the peyote. Remember, if you eat anything that sounds like a cow, a bird, or a sea creature, you will crash your game, all right? And you're gonna have to start the glitch all over. So, peyote locations will be down in the uh, description as, as they were in the other video. So press right D-pad to eat the peyote. Once you've eaten the peyote, at that point, you're going to turn into the animal and be in the hallucination. Once you've done that, you need to go ahead and die. You can have another player join you and like snipe you from afar. Don't have them kill you too close or your game could crash as well. I just like to get hit by a car to make this 100% solo. So boom, I got hit by a car and I was wasted. Now, once you are wasted, once you've died as an animal, you're going to come back invisible. Once you're invisible, just like this, you won't be able to access your weapon wheel. You won't be able to access anything like that. So you're just going to hit start, go to online, and go to creator. Or sorry, you're going to go to swap character. My bad on that. Go to swap character. And now since we were already our main character, now we're going to go swap to the female character, which is our second one. The one where the apartments need to transfer over and the one where the outfits need to transfer over. At this point, you need to wait. Uh, once you've selected that, you need to wait and you're going to time out eventually. Once you've timed out and you've gotten this alert that's coming up right about now, boom, you just accept it. Once you've accepted this alert, wait there for the clouds to unfreeze. You see how they're kind of frozen there? You got to wait for them to unfreeze. Once they've unfrozen, you can go ahead and quit GTA 5. Quit the app completely. Now, once you've done that on Xbox, you guys need to press start on, on, to, on the GTA app. Go to manage game, save data, go over to your... Um, your profile name your gamer tag name click on it and then delete save data from this console only not from anywhere else delete save data from this console only then you're free to start up gta 5 again it's going to try to sync your data select cancel sync and then stop sync okay you're going to get up to this point right here at the display calibration screen once you're at the display calibration screen accept it okay so here we go we're loading in display calibration just accept that alert 
and then it's going to load you into the prologue. All right, that's for Xbox. For PlayStation, you guys don't have to delete save data or anything like that. Just go ahead and start up GTA again. Once you've quit out, you hold R1 and L1, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but you hold those two, and then you'll get the display calibration, and then you guys can load straight into online and proceed with the glitch. For us, we have to load into the prologue right here. Once we've loaded into the prologue, it's like we're starting a whole brand new game. You're just going to simply quit the GTA app once again. So once we've quit the GTA app again, you're going to start it back up again. Okay, so we have to quit game two times to do this, but it's worth it once you get the hang of it. All right, I've been doing this glitch for a while now. So here we go. I've gotten it. It's going to try to sync up everything. That's okay. Let it sync this time. Make sure it syncs from this console. It's going to ask you where to sync from this console. Okay. So now you go to play GTA Online once you're, you know, once you're uh, as your SP character and just go to an invite only session. You're going to get these game policies right here. Just accept them. It's OK. It's like you're starting the game from fresh again, but all your data is still there. Because remember, we let it sync this time and we synced it from this console. OK, now you've loaded in as your online character. Modded outfits have transferred over. Check your outfits if you made anything on the female character. Now we're doing this as a solo money glitch. So here are the apartments. You're going to go and you're going to buy the three cheapest properties once again. So here we go. Look, you see that the expensive prices from the female character have now transferred over and I'm just going to buy over them with the cheap ones. 522 grand. I just got right there from doing that part. Now I'm going to go again and buy the cheapest property, buy it over slot five. Look at the top right. Four hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars. I just got go ahead and buy the next cheapest property. Buy it over slot six, boom, $426,000. And just like that, you've made a million and a half dollars and whatever outfits you made on your female character have now transferred over to your main male character just like that. That's how I've gotten all these modded outfits, guys. This is one of the ways that you can do it. SP to MP glitch. The other one is director mode glitch, but this one works just the same, all right? And they all have timing issues, all right? Director mode and SP to MP are all about timing, disconnecting, reconnecting internet. That's just that's just how they are. And for those of you that were asking, did my uh, x80 save? You just saw right there. This was recorded after, after closing my game, as you guys saw. All of my X80s are still there, and I'm I'm even gonna go sell another one, you know, at the end of this video. Uh, you might not see, you might, but those were all the X80s. I'll show you again right there. Boom. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope this cleared things up for you guys because this is a difficult glitch to hit at first, but once you get it, you can get it, man, and quick and consistent. All right. So I'm Roll Easy. I hope everyone learned and enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.